up that hole with dirt there. Oops, it's getting dark. We need to uh, sleep before the monsters come out. I think everybody else has already gone to bed. And I hear something. Gah! Yep. Knew that was going to happen. This is longtime gamer Venry Fairden introducing Uncle Troy's Minecraft videos. Okay, well. Okay, that looks good. Now, yeah, thinking back, I'll have to run the tape back, but I think I actually saw the creeper sitting over there when I come down and laid down to go to sleep. You have a perfectly perfectly good way to climb up. Just hop over toward me one space. Come on. And now you're just having to sink down into the... Alright, what about that? Can you get out there now? Come on. Can't place a block down there. Alright, good. Up one. Now... Oh, now you're coming down here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I saw little hearts. Yes. We have hearts. Come on. Make a baby. Ta-da. We have a baby villager. Woohoo. Whoops, did not mean to hit you, sorry. Alright, climb your way out of there. Uh-oh. Something just occurred to me. I accidentally hit that baby villager. And now he thinks... Uh-oh. Okay, well... This will not end well, because those guys are tough. Out of sight, out of mind. Has he forgotten about me? All right. You, sir, need to be out of there. Now, I would hit you, but that will just make the golem mad again. Oh. Thank you. Alright, so there's a little baby villager running around. Woohoo. Alright, oh, that was... Finishing off this here uh, hotel when it got dark. All right, are you trapped over here, sir? Are you mad at me? No, good. All right. So you're not trapped. Good. Toward me just to be friendly. Alright, uh, what I'm going to have to do is claim one of these buildings as my own and put the bed in there. Uh, I saw a sheep over here. Fortunately, my bed got destroyed by the uh, explosion, but I think I saw a sheep over here. Yes, a sheep. With one stinking wool block that I can't pick up because I'm carrying too much other stuff. 
All right, well, you need to get down and eat some grass. Yes, go eat some grass. Come on, eat some grass. There we go. All right, eat some more grass. All right, you've got about half a day to eat more grass. No, don't be going over here away from the grass. Stupid tree-dwelling sheep. And I don't want to have to ride out a, a night here. Woohoo. He's up there, so that means he finds that interesting or something. Let's see. Maybe I could add a little more to that uh, that garden up there. Let's see how it goes. It goes corner, edge, edge, water, edge, edge. Wait a minute, we don't want that color there because of... All right, I believe he was going in and out of my hotel doors here, so that means they do accept that as a... Wait a minute. I picked up my bed. Ah, I thought... No. Oh, stupid, stupid me. I thought the bed had been destroyed, and that's why I was over there harassing that poor sheep. Okay. Must remember, this is where I put my... Uh, my bed. And do I have a workbench on me? No, of course I do not. I left a workbench down here for no reason. Well, that's right, I left, uh, I brought snow and And unfortunately, they're not leaving little trails of snow because this is not a uh, snow biome. Break these. Because they are a different color. And, uh, put them along this line. At least as far as they will go. So that when viewed from down there, they will look pretty good. Alright. Let's see. Oops. Um, excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. You got a funny neck when looked at from below, sir. Alrighty. And for the rest of this, of course, we'll have to go with plain old spruce wood, because that's all I have. That was wrong. Let's see. Fill this in with, with dirt. And put some water over here. Well, hello there, Mr. Little Feller. Oops. And did I bring my hoe with me, I wonder? Of course not. Why would I bring a hoe? Um, simple cobblestone hoe should be sufficient. And we'll make a little extra torches while we're at it. Uh, do to do anything else to be left behind. Leave that iron behind so I don't accidentally use it on something. Alrighty. Not the most efficient design for a uh, for a farm, but it's the ones they use, and we want it to kind of blend in. I need, yeah, I need like 16 extra seeds or something like that.
How did that kid get up there? I'm not coming up I'm not coming up there to get you down. Hello. Alright, he's not mad at me. At mad bleh. Good thing he's not mad at me anymore. And uh, I actually made that iron golem quite a while. Well, about three episodes back, I guess. So he did not spawn with the villagers. I've not made the village that big yet, I don't think. All right, that's enough extra extra seeds that we can finish off that uh, lovely, lovely garden up there. There we go. And I have some extra wheat. All right, so it doesn't look as good as it could with the different colors. Huh, do I have room for an extra... For it upstairs there, I wonder. Excuse me, Frosty. It does seem to go up quite a bit. Hmm. Very interesting. Let's see. If I bring this down a notch or two. Alrighty, let's see, let's make us another door. And I'll have to go down there and get that, won't I? Why am I not picking up that door? Is that door not actually there? that door actually fallen down there somewhere alrighty I can know how to solve this problem I'll make another door and then as soon as I do that door will be pick upable cross here yeah see I knew it we will uh, Bring this back a notch. Probably bring this down. Let's see. Oh, getting dark again. Alright. Put this back about here. Hmm. Lighting glitch. threshold here is so that uh, the theory is I read somewhere that zombies can't break down a door like this the door has to be on the same level as the zombies so if I put a little step here the zombies could break down the door but since I haven't in theory the zombies can't and the testificates with a little difficulty can get in and out the door like that now Let's see. Replace this with dirt, maybe? Yes. That would look better, and it would fill in with grass. Okay. So, nice flat area. Maybe make another uh, house there later or something. That counts as a new house. Might do something similar over here. Lower this down a bit. Or uh, just build over this way a bit. And now that I have a little more grass or a little more dirt on me, I think I'll bring this out one more. Still wondering how that kid got up there. Did he take the. Hmm, there's a ladder in there. Did he take the ladder all the way up? Yep, now you're a full-grown guy, and I guess you live up here now. 
Maybe that will uh, keep bad things from happening up here. Yes, Mr. Pig, you just live there. Huh. Can we knock a knock a wall out there and put another door? I think we can. The doors work properly next to furnaces. I think they do. Hello there. Alright, I think I saw a kid up there earlier who is now grown, so that means this is another child. Wahaha. And you don't need to be there. And I don't know if I like that or not. Maybe some more of them spruce half slabs upside down. There we go. And we'll leave you there for now. Check our garden again. Alright, we'll have to do something similar to this over here eventually. And how did you get up there? Yeah, I bet he got over here, climbed up over here, and then just kind of stepped across over there. Alright, well now you live up there. Because I don't think you jump, so you can't get back. No. Hey there, little Squidward. I guess I could shoot him or something and knock him off, but no. Alright, well, I think I've done enough to uh, irritate the villagers for this episode. So, uh, please hit the thumbs up button if you like this episode. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to be alerted to future episodes. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. This is Uncle Troy signing out. Please have a good night.